In a fourth example, the microcontroller receives a string from a computer which is running a LabVIEW application and modifies the duty cycle of a timer in PVM mode. The PVM is seen on the oscilloscope on the user LED whose luminosity is modified. For making the microcontroller program, we shall open the Cube MX, choosing the board CTM32F4 Discovery in our example. We clear all pins, then activate the high-speed clock. For communicating with the PC, we will use USART1 with the pins PB6 and PB7, so we select the USART function for these pins. For visualizing the PVM, we may use PD15, which according to the datasheet may be connected to channel 4 of timer 4, we use timer 4, so we activate its input from the internal clock and the PVM function for channel 4. USART1 will work in the asynchronous mode. In the clock tab, we select the HSE clock and the PLL parameters 336 for N and 2 for P, which gives 168 MHz for the microcontroller internal clock. In the device tab, we go to TIM4 and choose the auto reload register value at its maximum. No other settings are necessary for timer 4. Going to the USART, we shall check the global interrupt lag for letting the infinite loop free. Now we may generate the source code, choosing the directory and the file name, and let's work with the EWRM toolchain. Here is the code generated by CubeMX for this configuration and parameters. It initializes USART1 and Timer4, but attention, it does not start them. First we we'll start Timer4 in PVM mode. We open the driver CTM32 F4 HAL time C and here we see the instruction HAL time PVM start. We copy its prototype and insert the parameters according to its brief description, in our case timer 4, channel 4. In the main loop, in the section user code begin 2, we have to place our code in the indicated places, otherwise it will be erased if we change something in the cube MX and generate again the code. Now we open the USART driver and choose the start in the interrupt mode. We also copy the prototype for the HAL UART received IT and insert the parameters according to its brief description. Including a pointer to an unsigned integer 8-bit variable that will hold the received character. Of course, we shall declare it in the section after user code begin PV. To make the things easier, I will first show you how to change the duty cycle in 256 steps, which need only a single byte. This may be enough accurate for many situations. When receiving a byte in the USART, its interrupt service routine is called. We use again the function HALWALTRECEIVEIT placed in the second row user code of the USART IRQ handle. In PVM mode 1, according to the reference manual of CTM32F407 microcontroller, the pulse duration is proportional with the value of the associate comparison register. So, for modifying the duty cycle, we may use the weak HAL function from the team header STM32F4X6 HAL team point H by extending any source from the project. Here, at line 960, we find the definition for the macro HAL time set compare. So we use uh, such an instruction to write the received value in the associate compare register multiplied by 256 to extend it over the whole range of the auto reload register. 
Of course, we must declare in the ISR the external variable uninteger 8bt in the user code begin0 aria. as well as uh, external uh, definition, team handle type definition, HTM4. We may now compile the program, load it, and start it. For the PC program we start lab view with a blank virtual instrument and uh, the visa module installed. In the block diagram we click and select measurement EO, serial configure port, then write and the close port. After aligning them we click choose structure and while loop which will include some instructions that will be repeated up till a stop control is activated. We notice that this stop control will appear on the front panel. We connect the three modules, leaving the initialization on the end outside the while loop. Then we create a control for visa resource name which allows the selection of the, of the COM port. Then we create a constant for the board rate. Now we place on the front panel a potentiometer for modifying the desired transmitted value and a meter for supplementary monitoring it. This must be placed inside the while loop because the values will be modified repetitively. As a numerical value given by the potentiometer must be converted in a character, a part of a string, we may place a build array module followed by an array to string 1. This solution is valid for numbers between 0 and 255 hence a resolution with only 256 steps is obtained. Now we may start this virtual instrument and after choosing the right COM port we may observe that when the front panel potentiometer is adjusted, the duty cycle of the square wave generated on PD15 and the luminosity of the attached LED varies according to the command from the PC. In a second example, we will transmit a four digits decimal value from the potentiometer from 0 to 9999. We convert it to a string using the corresponding module and and then concatenate at the end of the four digits a terminator, for example the capital T. Each digit is transformed in an ASCII character, which means that a hexa 30 corresponding to decimal 48 is added. We must remember to subtract 48 at reception. Let's adjust the potentiometer and the meter scales to 10,000 steps. And uh, let's label the new modules introduced. Now we will modify the microcontroller program to receive these character strings. After receiving a new byte, we verify if it is a terminator. If it is a capital T, then it marks uh, the end of a string, and the previously obtained value is scaled to 65. 1500 and then written in the compare register. Then the variable is reinitialized at zero. If the received byte is not a T, then it is a new more significant digit, so that the number built till now is multiplied by 10 and the new digit is added. 
This digit is obtained from the received IC character by subtracting 48 as we mentioned. Of course, we must declare the two new variables as unsigned 16-bit integers in the ISR only. Now we may test a new tandem, which behaves just like the previous one, but it has 10,000 steps at the cost of a higher complexity and uh, theoretically a lower speed. So here is the final program of the microcontroller, where we mark only the new declaration and instruction that we wrote. In the main, only two instruction and one declaration, and in the ISR, three declarations. and six instructions.